Good afternoon, YouTube. What's going on? It's Mesa back at it with some Destiny 2. All right, folks. Tis Thursday, and he's located over on Nessus, because that's where the Flashpoint is. Let's go see what he's got. All right, so he's got the Wardcliff Coil. He's got the Lucky Raspberry for the uh, Hunter, the uh, Insurmountable Skull Fort, and the Ophidian Aspect for the Warlock. All right, the usual Faded Engram. Buy this on a character that you need something on. He is supposed to not give you duplicates. Wardcliffe Coil, I still don't have the uh, catalyst for this thing yet to make it into a masterwork. Mad Scientist shoots a long volley of rockets, and also this weapon automatically reloads on ammo pickup. Lucky Raspberry, this thing's getting a buff in the next update. So the main perk is increases the chaining capabilities of Arc Bolt Grenade, and has a chance to recharge it each time it deals damage. Yeah, check the... Uh, this we get Bungie from last week. This thing's getting a kind, well, kind of a nice buff, so you might want to pick this up. All right, Insurmountable Skull for the Titan. Kills with Arc Melee abilities, trigger health regeneration, and restore melee energy. Good old Ophidian Aspect. I literally never take these off my Warlock. It's my main exotic. I think the only other Warlock exotic I like besides this right now is the Vesper of Radius. But weapons ready and reload very quickly, and melee range is extended. So he's got the usual here. If you still have not by now, traded in your rare Nightfall Strike card. Turn this one in, and uh, yeah, you can put modifiers on it. Whenever I do the Nightfall Prestige, I just throw on uh, two advantages and no disadvantages, because I don't care about the score. I just want to see if I can get the drop. And the usual three of coins, which I wouldn't waste your legendary shards on. I still think they don't really work very well. All right, that's it for the video, guys. I'll see you over the weekend. Uh, hopefully, I'll have a video up. I might do a faction farming guide. I really like this one lost sector that's uh, over on the EDZ that seems to be the fastest or easiest one to clear. It's the one in the church. Um, when you spawn in by Devrim K, don't go to the left lost sector and don't go to the right lost sector. Go to the one that's in the church and you go downstairs. You like, you, you literally just run past some ads and there's a captain waiting for a Nova Bomb. Of course, I go on a Warlock Nova Bomb. Nova Bomb them and then that's it. You move on. It's really, really quick. So that's it, guys. Do me a favor. Leave me a hashtag made it to the end. If you did make it to the end, then do me a favor. Drop a like in this video. Only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter at MesaShawn. Check out my stream. Usually and always on YouTube, and that's it. I am out of here like Vladimir.